Hey guys, welcome. Uh, in the previous video, we learned how to set up or install Laravel 9. In this video, we are going to talk about the authentication uh, of Laravel. But before that, uh, let me discuss somehow about the about the templating engine in Laravel and about the ecosystems that uh, Laravel provide uh, for our a benefit and for the betterment of uh, different systems first uh, let's say the templating engine uh, for laravel we have the if you just visit the resources folder and inside the view we have the welcome.blade.php laravel is based on php uh, we can see that the exchange file extension is php but we before php we have the dot blade extension as well the dot blade is actually the templating engine of laravel we whatever we do we create views uh, in templates and it provides uh, some benefits for us like we don't need to use uh, uh, core php functions like echo or l the other uh, control structures like for if as it is in php but uh, we can use them uh, in the blade according to the blade um, syntax and that is very easy for example here we have a uh, echo method called but we cannot see any echo or any php syntax here because these are the marks of uh, blade uh, templating engine and if i come down here we can see that we got here at if actually uh, at the back uh, this is this will be rendered to as pure core php if else statement but here uh, we just see it simplified at if and all these templates are uh, will be like will be converted or we will be rendered to core php codes uh, we can find them here in the storage framework views and you can see we have only one view welcome.blade.php you can see inside the uh, views here also we got only one file this is uh, our view in pure php code php in HTML. you can see we got php if there we had add if so that is the beauty of uh, laravel it simplifies everything for us and uh, let's bring some changes to our welcome page let's remove this one or uh, create another view and replace with this one let's say we uh, click on the view folder I create a new file and say that home blade.php this one and here inside this as we can see inside our welcome page we have all the mm, uh, docs of html we can bring them here let's say welcome page and here we will say or uh, let's say echo we don't need to actually put this one just like one welcome to our laravel project project and now we'll change the routing after this we will see uh, we must see our own uh, home page instead of this laravel's home page so we'll come to the routes folder and to the web and change this one from welcome to home let's save it and check it here welcome to our laravel project we change that so now uh, coming to the authentication uh, as I said Laravel is very like a huge mm, framework of PHP and it provides it is getting um, better and complex day by day so it is providing some ecosystems like we have some other libraries which can help us develop um, huge softwares or huge web applications so we have got the breeze case share this each one is uh, designed for a specific purpose and the one that we are going to talk today is the breeze breeze is like a, a lightweight starter kit or i can say it is an authentication uh, process like uh, simple simple implementation of all laravel's authentication features it means you don't need to create uh, to 
think of how to create the registration process the login the password reset or the email verification or password configuration all these things are already done uh, with the laravel priest you can have them by just uh, entering two commands or just by running two commands so that is very cool i will just put the link in the description and you can read all this documentation and get to know what actually laravel bridge is but here uh, we can see that Laravel Breeze uses the Tailwind CSS framework of CSS and actually it works good with the AlpineJS as well. So when we install the Laravel Breeze, we actually get the AlpineJS and Tailwind CSS Plus included in our uh, uh, Laravel framework and that is also quite good and these two, uh, especially AlpineJS, will help us create uh, simple single page applications and that will be huge. Okay so let's get started and install our laravel breeze uh, no more thinking of how to manage the sessions for logged in user or how to get data everything is controlled with the laravel breeze so we will, we will have to just uh, run this command composer require laravel breeze we are in our uh, currently installed laravel project i i have opened uh, it is open in my Visual Studio code. So here I will open the command line again, new terminal. And inside the new terminal, I will paste the command composer required Laravel brace and install it. Okay, installed successfully. And now let's see what we have next. Uh, not installed, actually download it. And now we have to install it with this uh, PHP artisan brace install command. Installed now successfully. Now we have to run the install npm install npm run dev. Actually, let me show you what happened during this. The uh, we downloaded the Laravel breeze, and if we go to the composer.json, here we can see that Laravel breeze is included now. Laravel breeze, and if we go to the packages.json, here we can see that Telvin CSS. AlpineJS are also included and now uh, Telvin CSS, Telvin CSS forms and AlpineJS these three dependencies are now included with the Laravel Breeze uh, and now we can just say npm install to install these dependencies or to render these dependencies in our Laravel system and then to uh, just uh, and develop with them so we have to run these two commands npm install i told you regarding the npm that it is a package manager and it will download all this install this dependencies or render them uh, for the production or for our uh, project till it gets installed let me tell you something about the migrations uh, actually when we uh, first start laravel uh, we we configured our uh, database as well and now when we are just using the laravel breeze to configure the authentication so it is um uh, before that we have to see that whether this database is created or not we successfully we have done this in the previous video there is no need to check again but um, uh, when you're doing these things so you have to be careful of this thing we have created database in mysql that is good and configured here uh, now uh, when we install the laravel breeze we just got another thing which is inside the database folder and the migration and here we have the uh, users table password table failed jobs and personal access tokens these are the uh, migrations for our tables it means when we migrate these tables will be automatically created in our database yet our database is having nothing inside it let me show you a new laravel here now it is empty and it is not having anything okay dependencies installed successfully uh, now let's run the next command which is for the okay in npm run dev to compile them down 
okay actually what this uh, run npm run div does is that uh, it takes all the css and js files from the resources folder uh, and compile it down to the public folder into css and js file this way uh, if we have many uh, css or js resources in our resources folder that will all will be um, converted to one css and js file and uh, linking one file is uh, easier than uh, two or three files so it, it it does something like that after that we can migrate uh, what is migration migration is actually uh, to create the uh, database tables from our migration file to actual database mysql so when we run this command this tables will be created in our database before that you have to make sure that the database is linked or configured okay configured successfully now come here and refresh our project and when we refresh it we get again the welcome page that is because the routing changed and and the routing changed after installing the breeze and now we got two more options here the login and the register so with that one first i can register i should register then i have the account uh, to log in so let's see if the registration or the authentication is working it asks for the name let's say ali and email uh, ali at test.com and a password It is even taking care of password if it is not matching or it is less than uh, eight characters let's say one two three four and one two three four if we just it if the password must be at least eight characters so it is um, the configuration and of authentication is very clear now where is this dashboard before in the resources folder we had in the resources and view folder we had only one file and that was welcome now we have a bunch of files we have the auth folder the component folder the layout folder and two more files or home i just created the home but we got another extra blade which is the dashboard dashboard is right here you are logged in let's say welcome again you can see the changes on the browse welcome again and the design that you're uh, looking in front of you is with the tailwind css okay so this was about the authentication and of course you have the uh, logout option and again the login option with the previously created account uh, so that is the this is this was for this video and in the next video uh, we will go and talk how to create more migrations what is actually migration how to create more migrations thank you very much